I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to look at DSing a vocal in FL Studio. So I've got here a vocal. Um, Stare into my eyes. Oh. You can hear at the start there we've got a couple of S's that might need attention. Stare into my eyes. Stare in, stare. So the stare is quite harsh on that. So I just wanted to talk about quickly the reason for DSing. You might have a mix full of hi-hats and a lot of high-end presence, synthesizers and stuff. So when you add a vocal in, which has got some quite harsh frequencies in specific range, they might be clashing with those sounds. So you really want to just get those under control, have control of them and maybe bring them down. So the rest of the vocal isn't affected, but those S's are controlled and not interfering with your mix. So you'd use something like a multiband compressor to do that. So I've got Maximus here. Stay. And what this enables you to do is split the frequency into low, mid and high bands. So you can even solo out the highs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the low and also turn off uh, and leave the mid and high on. But I'm going to adjust the, I'm going to turn the compression off for the mid actually. And then just leave the highs on and come over to the bands here. And now we've got control on these uh, two knobs here of that high band frequency. So as you can see. I'm adjusting where that compressor is sitting now, so with the yellow band here. So you can turn on the monitor to see the waveform. That's that button there. So I'm just going to pull this where we can see the S's. So they're about there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some, some, some compression to, to compress that frequency band. So moving this down, adjust the threshold, and then this is the ratio. So you can see now we've already we've compressed down those high band frequencies. I'm just going to accentuate that. So I'm just going to take that off solo. Maybe tweak that bit to get it to the right level that we need. Okay. So what you're looking for is only the S's to move past this point on the graph here. You can actually double click or press top the, uh, sorry, you can just click the top here and press enter and it full screens it so you've got a better view of it. So you can see just here, so you want to move this point just below there. That's when the compressor is, is that's when the compression is going to trigger. Okay, so we can see there if we use the monitor graph. You can see where the compression is applied here. So we are just compressing where the S's are and the harsh high frequencies. So we're removing that information from the uh, from the vocal. So that's how you DS using Maximus. I'm also going to show you another technique where you can use Edison. Uh, this is a much more manual approach, so you have much more control over the frequencies if your compressor isn't doing exactly what you want it to do. So just double click on your vocal in the playlist and then uh, right click here. You're going to want to select Edit in Audio Editor. That's going to open uh, Edison Instance. So this is a standalone instance. It plays separate to the project and you've got ability to kind of manipulate the sound here uh, and various tools. So for this, we're going to want to open up this, which is the, it displays the spectrum basically. There's also another option you're going to want to check here, up here in display settings. Select the uh, natural scale here. So now we've, we can see the vocal harmonics. These lines here are the vocal harmonics. And at the top, you can see where the, you've got a bright bit. That's where the S's are hitting or the high frequencies that are probably going to interfere with your mix. So you can actually, um, you can hone in on those and take those down a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the selector just so that I'm right on that S now. I'm then going to right click and I'm going to go down to tools and I'm going to look for equalize. What, I, what I'm doing here now is looking at a uh, frequency spectrum uh, and this is basically an EQ, so lows to highs. And you can see there where the high information is. So what you're going to want to do is just left click to add some points and pull down where that S is. 
So we can see where that really hits, and that's the kind of band that we want to hone in on. Hone in on. So this mix controls how much of that EQ is actually added to the to the uh, piece of audio you've got. So you can preview it. So you can see I'm adding quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of EQ there. It's probably overdoing it. So I'm just going to pull that back and just get it to a point where we're happy with it. So you can press accept, and that then pushes that change into that vocal. So you can see where we've got uh, where we used to have that really bright part, the harsh S. We've now removed that. So I'm just going to show you again uh, how to do that. So I'm going to use this S here. I'm just going to highlight the portion of the sound. Make sure it's the right bit. Then you're going to want to right click, come down to Tools, into Equalize. And it's already saved that Equalize preset that we have, but I'm just going to amend it for this one slightly because there's a different frequency that's triggering here. Just make sure we've got all those, those sounds covered, that the whole spectrum covered. Hit Preview. And we can see we're just pulling that down a bit, EQing just that tiny portion of the vocal. We can hit Accept, and now that's in there too. So we've removed those S's from the first half of this vocal. Stare into my eyes. OK, and when you've finished your vocal and you're happy with it and you want to add it back into the playlist, you just, want to, you just want to select this option up here. So you just click and drag, drag it straight into the playlist, and boom. We've got now that DS vocal done in Edison. Stare into my eyes. So in this video, we've looked at DSing using Maximus compression, and then we've also looked at DSing manually using Edison.